Okay, tonight we're going to talk about the multi-flat file connection manager, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, let me delete this right here. Okay, now what you need to do uh, is start off and go to new connection, and you see multi-flat file right here, and just click add. And uh, what it said, I think that's gone now. No, there it is. As it says, connection manager for multiple flat files, and that's exactly what it is. Um, let's give it a name. Let's say address stuff and I've got these four files in here they're all the same and that's really important isn't it I mean all of these files have to be delimited the same you can't have you know a text file with um, you know with tab delimiters and another one with you know pipe delimiters and another one with comma delimiters and another one with you know, quoted text qualifiers and another one without. And I mean, you know, they all have to be set up the same. So what you're going to be looking at here is a bunch of files that you're getting in for a specific reason, right? From from multiple sources that are in the exact same format, or maybe, you know, a single source from, source from the exact in the exact same format. Like, you know, maybe you're pulling uh, perfmon counter logs or something and loading them into a database. You know, something like that. So, uh, I'll get that delimited here. Go to my columns. There we go. I got a vertical bar. Uh, now, if I wanted to name the columns here, I could name the columns the same thing as they are on the table, and it would automatically map them for me on the at the destination. But since I don't feel like looking up what they are, then it'll be fine. Okay, so I've got my address stuff connection manager there. I need to start with a flat file source, and I'll go ahead and drag an OLEDB destination on there. Just like that. Okay. So I double click on this guy, get address stuff. I get my columns right here. Start this guy up. I want to put this into the address and multi table. So you remember I told you I'd have to map these? Well, now we're doing it. There we go. Got all these guys mapped. Got the connection. Got the the connection manager right, and blah blah blah, and we're all good. All right. Now, I've got this truncation error, or I should say, uh, truncation warning. And uh, what that's telling me is that there could be some some truncation in column four, uh, and that's really just because. Uh, the text file source here, the flat file source, it automatically uh, sets up its columns as string 50, and the OLEDB destination doesn't have doesn't have that many uh, doesn't have that it isn't that wide, um, but it's okay because my uh, when I created the table here, well I don't have it here. But when I created the table, I created it from the source table. So it's all the data is going to fit in there. This is just an, a, a metadata error that's coming from this guy right here. If I wanted to change that to whatever it is in the destination, then it would go away. But I'm not really that concerned with it here. So I did select all my files, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. So nothing left to do but to run it and hope I didn't do anything wrong. Good, good. There we go. Now I've got 12,000 rows in each file, so the fact that I've got 48,000 rows in four files shows me that I've done something right. And you can see that here, uh, with it going through, you've got errors, errors 2, errors 3, errors 4. And there's errors 4 again, okay? So you can see it cycling through the files. Now, you can also if you don't know what the files are going to be called exactly, and that's highly probable, I would say, then you can get rid of all those and say star.txt, and it should run all the same. There we go, got my 48,000 again. Stop that. Come here and again. There's one, two, three, four. So again, I got all of my rows and didn't have to worry about it. And these guys aren't going to, you know, 
everything in here doesn't have to be called text if this thing will pull up. There we go. Uh, everything in here doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be a text. It could be called anything that you want it to be, right? Um, but the only thing that's really important is that they're all the same format. So anyway, that's how to use the multi-flat file connection manager. And uh, it's, you know, it's pretty much the same. Well, not pretty much the same, but it's, it, the end result is the same as using the for each loop container here. Uh, I'm not really going to go into the for each loop container with flat files right now, but basically, you know, you would have a connection, you would have this guy inside of there, and you would set, you know, the flat file connection to to the new loop variable every single time, to the control variable every single time, and you, you would loop through the files, but, you know, doing it this way is just really clean and really succinct, and I actually kind of like it. It's really fast. So there you go. Have fun with that.